Hey internet, it's your boy Luca, aka Pedal Partners, aka that shoegaze guy, aka um, the curly one. And uh, today I'm doing a video on the Boss BD2W. Absolutely love the Boss Blues Driver. Me and Paige have got one each, uh, but now we've got a joint Pedal Partners Wazacraft version to share. The Wazacraft is really cool. I've been meaning to, to put this one on the channel ever since I first tried the Blues Driver. Check out the other videos I featured the BD2 in, including how to sound MBV, um, and I even did a video called Shoegaze and the BD2. I'm gonna show you guys all the Shoegaze sounds you can get out of the BD2W. Um, I've got some fun pedal boards to play with as well. I'll try and grab one right here. Um, yeah, today's video is a bit difficult because Paige and Becca are not here at the moment, so um, it's gonna be super lo-fi, keeping it super real. Let's give them a call. Um, see what they're up to. Um, it's good to keep in the loop. What are you doing? Hi Paige, how's it going? What are you, what are you doing? Eating mini Oreos with my dog. Mini Oreos <laughs> and Blues Driver. All right, baby, I'll see you later. I've got a video to do. If you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. That really helps us out. And we'll have more videos, um, more in-depth videos on pedal boards and all that kind of fun stuff once Paige is here because it just makes the whole thing so much easier and um, much more fun. The goal of our videos is really always just to show you real world sounds, sounds you guys could make at home with your bands or whatever, just keeping it real, you know, but experimental at the same time. If you enjoy the music, check out my project Violet Oscillation, that's where I put all my Shigo's music, everything's original here, and visuals are original as well, so check out my channel Visualizer. Gonna start off with the standard tone on the Blues Driver, um, really nice sound and it's just great for Shigo's. I'm going to show you guys the custom mode on the Waza Craft, which sets it apart from the, the standard BD2. Um, that adds more sustain and body to the sound. It's really nice, and I've found a really nice setting on the Trap of Fuzz that goes really well with it. So I'll add that in there as well, which is pretty sick.
started to get really excited when Boss dropped these pedal boards, really wanted to get my hands on them. This one is really cool. It's basically a high quality suitcase. So um, you got these four latches to take the board apart so you can put your pedals on it, which I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna set up a tasty shoegaze space station. So the actual board itself has this really cool input output section so you can just plug directly in there and directly out, stereo out. Um, it's really handy, it can be really tidy. Let's finish off with some space shoegaze jams. Yeah, um, check out Space Baselines by Violet Oscillation, now trending on Bandcamp, I think, probably. Anyway, so let's go up how I set up this uh, pedal board. Uh, really straightforward, actually, really simple. I'll keep it, keep it simple for you all, because I know when things get technical, trust me, they confuse me. Um, so we go, the guitar is going into the input here, and that's being sent to my realizer here, and then the realizer is going into the Respira, goes into the MD200, which then goes into the DD200, the Wildcraft Blues Driver, and then lastly into this little gem from Hologram. And this is going out of the Hologram to the return here, and then out of here into my amp. So I uh, hope that helps you out. And uh, this is what this is what it sounds like.